OK, this is just a quick video to show you how to record a macro that you can then use with Photo's batch processing feature. So I've got a set of images here that I want to run through batch processing. And if I say pick one of them and drag it into Photo, I'll then want to expose the Macros panel. So I can go to View, Studio, Macro. And then I want to record a new macro. So we just click Record. And then I can, for example, add a black and white adjustment and just tweak the values slightly. I could then say add a curves adjustment and then perhaps lift the shadow tones up and then bring the midtones and highlights back up. And then I might also want to select the original background layer and then say perform a small degree of sharpening on it. So I might pick a radius of say one pixel and maybe a factor of two and then apply that sharpening. Okay, so once I've recorded these steps, I can click stop, to stop recording the macro. Then I want to add it to a library and we'll just add it to the default category, that's fine. Uh, enter a name, we'll just call it batch processing and click OK. And it will take us to the library panel where we can see our new macro. So then I will close down the image and then I'll go to File, New Batch Job. And then on the Sources list here, we just want to click Add and I'm going to add all those images that we saw. So I can either save into the original location, which needs authorization, or I can save into, say, a subfolder. So I'll call this batch output. Create a new folder, click OK, and then I'll just check save as JPEG. And for the options, I'll configure uh, quality, say 75, progressive encoding. And then here's the key part in the available macros list. Just note, you can switch the categories here as well. I've got batch processing, which is my newly recorded macro. So then I just click apply. It adds it to the applied macros list. And then when I click OK, the batch processing will begin. And if I move back over to that directory, we'll now see in batch output, the files will appear. And as we can see, they've had the black and white adjustment and the curves adjustment added, and they've also had the sharpening that we've applied as well. So there we go, really, just a very quick tutorial just to show you how to record a macro and then quickly use it with your batch processing. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums. And don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.